coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He's out to the 30, and he's tackled at the 34-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Second and five here. Ball on their own 39. Now he's scrambling. He's tackled at the 44. Defensive line won that battle easily. Fielded at the 19. He makes it out to maybe the 29 yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He's to the 40. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 44-yard line. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 44. Here's the give. They go to the left for a nice game. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings up second and five. complete he's got room to work he gets hit out of bounds the 39 yard line nice pickup as they connect on the pass play but they look to be in sync right now they're both reading the defense properly and the result is a nice game first and ten ball on the 39 and he's tackled the 37 yard line under pressure quick release oh had it knocked down that's the kind of field vision you want out of your linebackers they have to play well in coverage and they have to be able to break up pass plays third down now and they need to get it to the 29 in the shotgun and five wide out just throws this one away we got a change at the quarterback position Got to wonder how that's going to affect this offense. I would think the offensive coordinator and the head coach are just going to try to ease him into this game at the beginning. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Caught out of the open. And 
they push him out at the 29. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. the stop at about the 31. So that scamper by the halfback is good for a first down. Well, the defense did a pretty good job there and didn't give him much room. Unfortunately for them, there was just enough space to eke out two yards he needed for the first down. And that one's incomplete. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. From their own 31-yard line. Second down. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. Tackle at the 46-yard line. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 46. Throws and it's knocked away. Number 80 was his intended receiver on the play. Third down. throws this one away and that will make it fourth down on third down the defense was expecting the pass and they defended the play very well in the secondary the defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one sometimes it's not the huge distance but precision that you need from your punt nicely done and so far it's been totally even in close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Here's a run. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. And that was the sophomore linebacker there who was able to get in and make that tackle. It's second and ten. Ball on their own eleven. Knocked out of bounds right around the 14 yard line. That series left the offense scratching their heads a little. it out to about the 44-yard line. Boy, neither offense can find any kind of rhythm so far. Herbie. Yeah, it almost feels like the two offenses are just kind of feeling their way right now, allowing both these defenses just to dominate the game. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Here's the run right. He's got nowhere to go. That's a great play by the defense. There's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of a block, get into the backfield of the offense, and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum, possibly, for this defense. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 46. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. We've played one. No score here. Welcome back to the action. Just about set to start quarter number two, and we're all tied up. Half 
Jack's got it on the quick throw. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. From the 31-yard line, it's second down. And he hauls it in. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. And it's caught, and he's run down quickly. Good work here by the defense to keep him from making something more out of that play. about three yards to get the first here on second down. They'll bring him down at the four-yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Down. They went to their power back to get him in. I love to watch this guy play football. He just lowers his head and dares people to get in front of him. And he converts the extra point. A seven-play, 43-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And he just got stood up right there. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. back and he's got space he's at midfield and he's taken down around the 45 yard line First down. First and 10 ball on the 45 yard line It's the tailback. Makes it out to about the 33. That makes it first and 10. Man left, man left. Down, down. Watch 35, watch 35. Mike four, Mike four. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Gain of six yards. That'll, That'll make, make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Pitch play here. Brought down at the 11. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 11. Runs left and quickly taken down. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From the 11-yard line, third down. A 
out of bounds at the four. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's taken down at the 25-yard line. Well, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. Uh, the offensive coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And they got it. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page. And they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Here's a third and long situation. Ball on the 16. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. So they run the ball on third and long, and it's stuck. Well, Brad, here the offense is trying to surprise the defense with a run, but it didn't work. And down he goes at the 25. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line, it's third down. Throws left, picked off. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack. Strike to his receiver, no good. Number 86, the intended receiver. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 21 yard line. Mike Moore, Mike Moore. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Brad, you imagine being the offensive coordinator right now? Your quarterback is out of sync. He's not making the throws. Now you're facing a pivotal fourth down, and you've got a quarterback in an offense that's struggling. What are you going to do? It's up, and he got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Tries to get around the corner. It's a fumble. This one bounces out of bounds. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's tackled right around the 40. That reception good for around four yards. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. Got a man. Watch 
stretch out here. And down he goes at the 47-yard line. He goes out of bounds around the 46-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's got it with room to run. Steps out of bounds around the 38-yard line. That makes it first and ten. for it all to the end zone. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Now you hate to foreshadow and assume that that drop could come back to bite them, but if this offense is able to put the ball into the end zone after that drop pass, this game could be over. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Dumps it complete over the middle. And he's tackled around the 30-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. This one's going deep to the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. So a seven-play, 64-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. They'll bring him down at the 23-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Nice run there as they work the outside. So at the end of the half, and a 10-10 tie in this game. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. David, I'm sure there are plenty of people out there just loving this game. I mean, these two teams are spinning the magic bean all <laughs> over the yard. Big numbers on offense, pitch and catch, run after the catch, all the offensive work. Yeah, I, there's nothing to talk about defensively, but if offensively, if you want to start talking about it, I mean, everything that you're doing is right. And to be able to throw it deep, to be able to throw it short, to be able to make the defense honor every part of the field, the offenses are really in rhythm. They're really in a groove. And this is one of those games that you, you see a lot on the West Coast. I mean, it's just, it's, it seems like there's not a lot of defense, but the offenses know what they want to do and how they want to do it. And the scoreboard just goes. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But, uh, look, wait. Don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. Well, we welcome you back to the action. Just about set to start the second half in a tie ball game. He's out to the 30. Gets out to about the 31. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Gets it out. He's met immediately. Seven-yard loss on the play. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Second and long. Ball on the 24-yard line. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. On the throw. Incomplete pass. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. 
There was no need to rush that one at all. They'll spread the field with five wide. Pass complete and taken down immediately. squander any possessions but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping takes a handoff inside and stopped immediately well that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football they know what this team likes to run they got the better of them that time from their own 45 yard line second down made at the 47. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. Tackle at the 45. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You've got to make every possession count. the stop right around the 30. It's second down and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Nice run and he's brought down. to about the 37 yard line. Gain of three on the play. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on their own 37. They go with a toss. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. And he hits him hard at the 27-yard line. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. From their own 47-yard line. Second down. Bring him down to the 49-yard line. 
The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Terrific coverage, and when you clog up passing lanes like that, you can force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. They'll give it off here. That's a great tackle at the 22-yard line. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 22. Pressure coming and the ball is loose. He's gobbled up in the backfield. So with one quarter remaining, this one's all even at 10. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he's taken down at the 37. Well, the defense has certainly been the story in this one. Uh, the defense is playing great. I might recommend dropping down a level or two instead of playing at the higher level. Go down to the freshman level and give yourself a chance to execute a little bit better. So early in the fourth quarter, every possession is going to count from here on out, and we're in a tie ball game. Second down and 10 to go. All on the 37-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And he's tackled right away. And 10. Ball on the 39. Makes it to the 31. to about the 14-yard line. From the 14-yard line, first down. Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled at the five-yard line. Steps up at about the three-yard line. And 
This is the eighth play of the drive. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the two. Just under three to go in regulation. Touchdown! He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine-play, 62-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. From their own 41 yard line. It's second down. And down he goes at the 49. He gets rid of this one. From their own 49-yard line. Second down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Just under two to go in the game. And they got him. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday. On that one. So they're going to go for it here. Five wide. Fires out to his wideout. He's hit and taken down. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. The defense calls a timeout. Three-yard gain by the running back. This guy is very physical, and he does a good job of taking on blockers. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Tackled after a decent pickup. The defense calls a timeout. Room around the corner. They got to him, and he did not get the first down. They just kind of spun their wheels here, but credit to defense with not giving up any ground. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. There's a strike complete, and he's tackled the 37-yard line. That makes it first and 10. 
just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle made around the 46-yard line. And he throws it away. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. He sails it long. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. Late in the fourth quarter, and with that score, we are now tied. And the way things are going, we might be going to an extra session or two. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game. And poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? Here they go on the draw, and they'll lose yards. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. The defender snuck right through the blocks and just drilled the ball carrier. That's a standout play. To 31. That's the end of the fourth quarter, and we are headed to overtime. Back to the action here, and we get ready for overtime. Delayed handoff, and he's not going to get back to the line. Second down and 12. Ball on the 27 yard line. Got an opening. He gets hit out of bounds around the 11 yard line. Spread the field with five wide. The cavalry's coming, and he's sacked. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 16. He's got the corner. Around five yards there on the option keep. And he's level at the 22.
And the kicker comes out to try to put three points on the board here in overtime. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. I know they would have rather put the ball in the end zone, but this is still big. Points are points. I think their defense is going to thrive under the circumstances. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He launches one for the end zone. Almost picked off. From the 25-yard line, second down. And he just gets rid of it. Sniffs out the screen pass and holds him to a short game. Contain, contain, contain. That's the only way you can shut down a guy with 4-2 speed. So the kicker comes on and tries to send this to another overtime. The kick is up, and it is good. And it's great having a kicker you can rely on in the clutch. Now they live to play another overtime. Well, it's going to take another round at least. You can bet the coaches are going to look to be more aggressive on both sides of the ball. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. So they draw first blood here in double overtime. Avoiding field goals in overtime is just huge. Anytime you can get six in overtime instead of three, you're going to be tough to beat. And he converts the extra point. First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Deep pass to the end zone. Got his man. Touchdown. Can you believe this? It appears two overtimes just aren't enough for these young men. This has just been amazing. These two teams have been playing dead even. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he hits the PAT. And if you haven't had enough yet, we're going to a third overtime. Extra points are no longer allowed. And if anyone scores a touchdown, they'll have to go for two. Calls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. first down and they'll be looking for six points here fires a laser touchdown So the offense comes up big and gets six points here in triple overtime. And unless they want to leave this in the hands of their defense, they better come up big here again because they have to go for the two-point conversion. And they're looking to get two points here. And he comes up short on the two-point conversion. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Mike Ford, Mike Ford. Yes, 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 yes. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete.
catches it, and that's all. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. They're about four yards away here on third down. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. They'll bring him down at the 10-yard line. And he's taken down around the seven yard line. The back gets three on the carry. That makes it second and six. They're at the seven. Second down. Strike to his receiver, no good. This might be their last chance. Fourth down. Under heavy pressure with the pass incomplete. A great game here today in a tight one. 33 27. 27. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.